What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you a new home screen I've just made which I'm going to call Minimalist Museum. Now the basis for this is Nova Launcher, the Cygnus Dark Icon Pack, Musi Live Wallpaper and a couple of different custom widgets, all of which are from the Osea Skin Pack. So you can see on the top of either home screen we've got two different custom widgets, we've got the search bar and this bar with battery and the time and then on the bottom on the first home screen we've got this little carrot which if you click will launch the weather. Then on the right hand home screen we've got a little grid of six of my most used apps. So the first thing you need to do is go to the links in the description, download Nova Launcher Prime, Cygnus Dark Icon Pack, the Musi Live Wallpaper, Custom Widgets and the Osea Skin. So if you want to install this, I've made this really easy for you guys. Just go to the link in the description and download the Minimal Museum Nova Launcher backup file. So once you have this backup on your phone, go to backup and import settings under Nova settings and then you want to hit restore. Then you want to click restore and manage backups and go ahead and select Minimal Museum. Now this will give you all of the Nova settings that you need for this home screen as well as giving you all of the widgets. Unfortunately, due to a limitation with the way Nova Launcher handles widgets, you do need to actually add all these in manually. So go ahead and long press the home screen and unlock it. So first up, we are gonna add this search bar. So simply tap on the widget at the top of the screen. So in the custom widget, you want to search 00022, and this should come up with this Osea search bar. So if you go into the layer option, you can mess around with the size of this search bar and customize it to your heart is content. If you go to items and select every single one, you can then go to the top of the screen where you've got these little arrows. You can tap this and this will let you move the whole widget up and down. So once you have the widget as you like it, you want to hit the little burger overflow and you want to hit export. This means you can export this exact search setup and then you can replicate it across both home screens. So now if you load your exported preset, you can get this, hit save and it'll be on your home screen. Next, you want to scroll right and then you want to add that exact same exported search bar to your next home screen. So then you want to just scoot that down, which will give you access to this other widget. And for this, you want to be using the Andro Mono skin, which again is from Osea. For this, I just use the stock settings and then I reposition the search bar underneath it. You then want to go back to the other home screen and do exactly the same thing. So click on the widget again, navigate to that Andro Mono skin, apply it to your home screen and then resize your search widget. Next, we want to then add this final widget at the bottom of your home screen. Again, this is an Osea skin and this is called New Weather Clock. Now, if you want to, you can resize this so you can't actually see the time. This means you just get the little carrot and it's a little bit more minimal. But obviously you can choose how you want this to look. Once you've selected how much of the widget you actually want to see, you can go ahead and click save, hit the home screen and you will be pretty much set up. Because you move that little search bar down to access the other widget, I'm just gonna move all of these icons back up to the center of the screen. This is obviously not essential, this is just where I prefer them to be. And if these are apps that you don't use, you can obviously change these by just dragging them from your app drawer. So there you are guys, that is my minimal museum home screen. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also comment below if you've got any issues with setting this and I shall try to help you out. You can follow me with all my social media links in the description and be sure to send me pictures of your home screen. I'm gonna start doing some features of other people's home screens um, in the very near future. But thank you very much for watching. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.